Welcome to Tabletop Gaming Guild. Tabletop Gaming Guild is all about the experiences and memories that playing tabletop games with friends and families can create. And today we'll be unboxing In the Year of the Dragon, published by Elia and designed by Stefan Feld. I don't know a whole lot of the, about this game, but it is a popular Stefan Feld that is said to be a pretty hard and unforgiving game. It's basically you're playing as a noble in uh, some of the hard years with drought and famine plaguing your province and you're trying to survive and prosper for your province. It's not a new game at all and you can kind of tell by looking at it. This came back out in 2007. This is the 10th anniversary edition. So this, even this reprint was in 2017. These cards seem I mean, the art's fine, but there's no text on it. There's no, doesn't see any symbology. I'm not sure exactly what they do or how you're supposed to keep track of what they do. Uh, but I'm sure it'll become clear once I've read the rules. Speaking of which, oh, this is not the right language. So let's skip ahead to the right language. So they do publish this in three, four languages. They're not terribly long. Honestly, that's pretty good considering the style of game we're talking about. This board is super plain, but you know, 10 so years ago, that was pretty standard. You know, production values have really gone through the roof lately. The last couple of years have seen higher and higher quality games coming out. Uh, speaking of which, these punch boards are relatively thin and they don't come off, out that great. Another thing that has definitely improved in more recent games. I mean, but, you know, I still enjoy these classics. They're solid games. They also tend not to cost nearly as much as more modern games because they're not giving you a ton of plastic and, you know, ceramic, uh, ceramic tiles and all sorts of acrylic tiles, rather, or all sorts of, like, over-the-top productions. Well... Based on what I've heard and what I'm seeing here, I don't think this is going to be a game for everybody. Uh, it's probably going to be more catering towards the gamers that have been around for a while, in the hobby for a while, and love the classic Euros. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on other social media such as Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to like and subscribe.